And today was a it, a bad day for me. I hit max loss. Um, I don't have a lot of of positives here about my trading today. My watch list was CCL, Neo, Lift, ACB, and then Plug was kind of a backup. And um, really, none of my watch list except for Neo now on the long side has looked pretty good. Um, my day started with a trade on two trades on Neo. This first one was a loser. The second one was a was a small winner. And I really tried to play um, Neo on the pullback to the short side, but Neo was on basically my whole watch list was on SSR, and that just made that's really the cause of a lot of my struggles today. I really don't like trading stocks on SSR, and almost everything on my watch list started the day, opened the day on SSR, and it just kind of makes the, the price movement a little funky, and then me being a slightly short bias trader, and I typically feel more comfortable going short, just because for some reason I feel like I know, I have a better understanding of where the, the price action is going to go than long. Um, when days are like that, it's just it's it's already starting from a bad place. So, short, stopped out here, a little profit there. Now, way later in the day, this is this is tough because I took this long at forty eighty. Um, really hoping to push to forty one because there's a, a level two looked pretty strong at forty one. And this is an example of like when you take partials too soon, then uh, I don't like winning trades to turn into losing trades so then when this came back to break even I got out <clears throat> if I would never would have taken these partials right here I could have I would have stayed through this pullback and look at this move so this was a day where um, you know the price action was different because of SSR and then bad psychology kind of made me handle my trades different throughout the day now uh, what else did I trade? CCL. So took CCL short here, and this is actually just a bad trade. Um, and the reason it's a bad trade is because it comes down, and then um, it actually has pretty strong bullish volume right there. But the thing, the reason why I took it long anyway is because SSR, you have to get the stock on the uptick. Sometimes the volume comes out, the volume price analysis looks a little different to me. Um, but we couldn't move here and I knew I should have got out sooner because this was clearly forming a nice little wall there but I did wait till a little after break even stopped out there then the, the bears had become pretty strong I thought about just taking a, um, a long position here right after this but CCL had frustrated me too much so I didn't when I got back to VWAP I did take it long I partialed I was very patient this is my best trade of the day um, and then I tried an ad right here just in case this 50 was going to hold and it could curl back up, but it didn't, so it's out. But, you know, this was my best trade of the day. This was, um, you know, it was a pretty good trade and it didn't move that much for me, but it was just the patience on these other partials. Then I tried to take a short here, it didn't work out, um, got stopped out. But, you know, ultimately it, it was a nice short there. But that was kind of the story of my day. My injuries just weren't good enough because SSR kept giving me weird fills. Um, what else did I trade today? I traded plug. Um, let me see here. What did I do? Yeah, I took plug short here. Kind of thinking I was going to play uh, a double top. You know, I thought maybe we're doing a double top there. The second one doesn't make it to the same high. We are getting good, um, you know, bearish volume and a volume increase followed by weaker bullish volume followed by good bear. So uh, honestly, I thought we were going to get all the way down to VWAP, which would have been about 25 cents. And we didn't even get close. We really only, uh, you know, only moved downward another like 10 cents maybe which just isn't enough for my style of trading. Um, so yeah, the double top play didn't work for me, and as you can see, it's a long, and it actually looks like it wants to push through, uh, it's probably gonna push through this level right here and go to 2250 or something, let's see. Uh, what else do I got here? So, ACB, yeah, ACB I took a long here after it pushed through VWAP on good volume and really I needed an entry close to VWAP and that would have relieved a lot of this pain. I could have 
Uh, I couldn't have held through this drop, so I would have stopped out there anyway. But in general, an entry closer to VWAP would have been better. And I thought that we were going to get up to this, uh, like this 50 MA on the five minute, which was pretty close to the uh, 200 MA on the one. And then I thought maybe we could push for seven dollars, but it didn't have the juice uh, at that point. Again, it got stopped out, and that's pretty much the story of my day. So SSR made things challenging. I didn't get good fills. <laughs> Um, and then I started trading things that weren't really my setup because I started justifying the fact that the volume was not telling the story I wanted it to and I blamed that on VPA but I said oh it's still short or it's still long rather than trusting it and um, SSR can make the volume read different than usual however I knew I was reaching um, and also my watch list today just really wasn't that good I don't really like you know this Look at this chart. That to, this is this is something I don't want to be in. Just this constant like kind of staying in this narrow range. That's not a good stock. Um, Lift kind of started. Uh, you know, Lift is in it now. So you know now Lift is boring. Neo was the best trading stock in my watch list, but also CCLC. It's just like range trading. I didn't even move these lines, it's in the same range. So, um, lift would have been, you know, but then it broke broke free there. So, I just didn't have a good watch list today and didn't have good execution.